Hey everybody, Rob Trepin out here, Trepin Auto Landscape, another quick educational video. I'm going to give you three tips on how to have beautiful annuals that will make your neighbors jealous and your in-laws will be impressed. So it's tilling, drilling, and fertilizing. Number one is tilling. This is a great little mini tiller that I use to um, break up the soil, get the nutrients up. I'll show you that in just a minute. Number two is drilling. This is a little power drill. This is called a bulb planter. I got mine at Clegg's Nursery here in Baton Rouge. Uh, you can get them at your local nursery, you get them online. But uh, it's a great tool for making things a lot easier. Keep watching, I'll show you how. Number three is fertilizer. This is one of my favorites, it's called Color Star. I got mine at Plant Tech here in Baton Rouge. This is my favorite fertilizer when it comes to bedding plants. Y'all keep watching, I'll show you how to put them to work. <laughs> Okay, so now that we did the tilling, it's time for the drilling. Um, so it's important to create a grid pattern. It just makes it easier. You drill your first line, as you'll watch in just a second, and then you stagger the next line. So you split that difference. And um, 10 inches on center is pretty good uh, spacing for a lot of plants. Just look up uh, on the label what the spacing should be. Okay, so I've chosen pink Amazon Dianthus for the back because they're very tall and showy. Next, we've got white snapdragons, not quite blooming yet, but they're going to form a really nice neutral background. They're a little lower in height. Next, height-wise, we've got Osaka cabbage. They'll get about 10 or 12 inches tall. And then blue pansies in the front to really grab your attention from the street. Okay, we tilled, we drilled, and now I'm fertilizing. You just want to sprinkle it out here pretty liberally. You can see I've already put a good bit down. You want good coverage on your plants. And uh, it's good to fertilize before you mulch. That way it really gets into the soil. So we'll mulch at the end, we'll water it all in, and we'll show you what it looks like at the very end. This is a chocolate brown mulch that we got from Clegg's in Baton Rouge. Okay guys, we did the tilling, we did the drilling, we did the fertilizer. Look at the finished result. It looks pretty good. Your yard should be looking this good as well. You should be making your neighbors jealous. You should be impressing the in-laws. One last thing I forgot to mention, critical tip number four is it's important to have good help. So I didn't give any credit to my lovely little helper here, Evangeline, the newest member of the Trepanol Landscape family. If you all enjoyed these videos, please share them, tag a friend. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, Rob Trepanol, Trepanol Landscape. Thanks.